you make these tiny things like not really so when i put the piece of clay on the wheel if i'm making mugs if i'm going to make six mugs i don't take six balls of clay i just put a big piece of clay on the wheel and i just start throwing the mugs off the top of that clay it's called and oh. so you just center the clay on the top make a mug so it would be the same with a toothpick except you're working with something really small but and i just keep taking those off the top of that piece of clay mm-hmm. So it's once you get used to it. Pottery's hard. It takes a few years to get kind of good at the wheel. A lot of people really struggle with centering that clay. Yeah. Centering the clay is the most important step because if it's wobbling just a little bit as you open it up, then you're magnifying that problem. And then you're also getting a thin and thick wall. Oh, yeah. So then, as you try to make that bowl, it becomes wobbling more. So as you open it up, it just gets to the point where it's. No good, and it's yeah. got a thin and thick wall. Yeah. So it's and when you fire it, that thin and thick wall is probably going to warp the bowl. That's usually what it cause of warping would be in the. So, and most people have they struggle trying to center clay. I did when I started it. You know, it was two years of a lot of practice. Some days you say, "Oh, I just can't get it." But once you get it, it's like riding a bike. Hey, you just yeah. put your clay down, center it, and make a pond.